Welcome to the 24 hours of terrible. <laughs> what is it? What's it called? We can do it. We can do it. Woo! The only thing that hasn't been done correctly. Oh, we got a we got an ad on. Uh... Oh! Right. Oh my God! Oh what? my God! What? What's These that? scary people. They're all playing baseball. Yeah, the worst okay, sport. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. oh. We're restreaming. Now a word from our sponsors. <laughs> That is a fact. The it's show cartoon 17, baseball, because though. It's a, a okay. baseball video game is relevant to our listeners' interests. <laughs> yes. Love sports. Love sports. Uh, so. With yeah. the people and the drones? Yeah. <laughs> drones can play baseball now. Yeah. So uh, welcome back <laughs> to the Plus 24 game. Terrible Hours. And in the room, uh, we've got me, Jimmy Franks, and Zarla is still with yeah. us. And I... Nutshell Gulag has joined us. Good morning. Stog. Hello. And uh, the boots of the rain gear. Oh, hello. I'm just getting that same baseball hat again, so that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay. And uh, Portax uh, on the stylus. Styling with the stylus. Going to be drawing some stuff for us. Yeah. Portax on the zeros and ones. Yep. Portax stylus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And, um, you know, the, the intersection of, of uh, I think, a lot of the things that we cover, um, the Venn diagram is finally overlapping between video games and hardcore pornography. Uh, finally. With this yes. Finally. I've been waiting so your prayers, long. Your yeah, prayers have been answered Floyd. with This Ain't Steam Triple X, uh, thanks to the Heavenator <laughs> and the Lespiathon for Yay! Uh, providing us with this fantastic uh, collection of stuff and uh, apparently uh, uh these are mostly <laughs> hentai games so you got that to look for <laughs> video um, game porn yeah, so Yay. let's just uh, jump right into the deep end and nutshell yeah welcome back i hope you got some rest uh why don't you uh, uh tell me about the let's see uh, in the komochi forums here <laughs> yeah uh -huh. got the hot new game that kids are talking about uh <laughs> uh, tell me about that that first uh, game there. Okay, um, clicking. Ah, uh, it's called Cali Ska Vicious Seed 3D Adult Side Scroller, work in progress. Oh Whip. 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 Uh, st story. <laughs> Kelly Kelly Ska is an ancient vampire who, for centuries, had who has for centuries transmitted her arcane knowledge to a coven of very powerful witches in order to form a group to maintain the balance between the elements. But their days of peace perished when Amara, the necromancer, for no apparent reason, used the power of the vicious seed to <laughs> curse the beautiful Evelyn, a witch who controls the element of Earth. This is a good sign in a plot when something happens for no apparent reason. <laughs> yep. No apparent reason at all. When out of the blue... Yeah, okay. This transgression resulted in the expulsion of Amara, which in an impetus, which in an impetus, hate allied with, with an enemy whose name had been forgotten for centuries. Said enemy is Laver. Is that a type of fish? Laver? Laver. Late. Hmm. Uh, Cows. <laughs> Callie Scott's brother in blood. He prepared a trap in the woods to catch the mages as they went on a journey to fix the only cauldron, strong enough to withstand the power of the spell that would heal Evelyn. Okay, yeah, that's not the... Yeah, okay. He just put, like, a magic wand under a box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You may ask, be asking yourself, where's the porn? For that, we go to gameplay. You play it like a regular side-scroller. That means oh, you walk porn? sidewards. Yes. <laughs> that means you walk sideways. sideways and encounter enemies, but instead of just defeating them with your attacks, you can choose to have sex with your opponents. After or during the orgasm, Callie Scott will suck some of the enemy's blood. That will hurt the enemy. And now I'm talking, not talking about the enemy's feelings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can oh, you spend that, that blood to you perform don't know that. special <laughs> abilities. <laughs> Yes, I do. I'm the person who made the game. Oh, um, right. I'm sorry. You're right. You will gain experience points after defeating an enemy in order to level up. So you just had sex with me to get my blood. How it's a you? sex side scroller. That's for my own blood. Great. Yeah, tell, uh, tell Congratulations on making an incredibly boring porn game. Um, okay, characters. There's Callie Ska. She can use blood 
points to perform different skills. She can also recover her health and recreate her clothes with blood magic. Blood points can be replenished when you suck blood from your enemies. There's also a lust level. The lust level increases when the girls have sex. When Kali's goes lust level is high enough, she'll gain more blood points when she sucks blood. The sex animations will alter as well. Okay, that's a bunch of bullshit. Uh, you yeah. know what we really need to know is uh, what fetishes do the playable characters have? Okay. <laughs> Um, the list of fetishes down below can expand any time as we are get more ideas than we could manage to impl <laughs> implement in the game. The following fetishes are planned to be included in the game. Female friendly. That's we my want favorite fetish. <laughs> we, want to know <laughs> we want to know what kind of sexual things turn women on the most. We will then give our best to make it enjoyable for you. So girls, your likings and ideas are very welcome because we... I have never spoken to a woman in real life. And... You weird <laughs> robots with vaginas. You have yeah. thoughts? Is, is that right? Thoughts, maybe? Be preferences? Yes. Help us I out like here, maybe? Girls? <laughs> I, I don't know. You got <laughs> meet us halfway. Come on. Girls? Hey, ladies, do you want to play as a vampire who has sex with enemies and then sucks blood and then turns the blood into experience points and then you use more experience points to bail and lower more skills so you can have more sex? <laughs> Okay, sensual. I'm assuming no. your yeses were so loud it just yes. moved out of a hearable range. <laughs> Vortex of yes. Okay, next. Sex uh, sensual. No sex at all. This will only show erotic animations like kissing or the exchange of caresses in a very provocative way. Like a filter or something? Okay. Girl, girls like that too? Maybe. Can we Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I'd goody. Um, rough. Things that can hurt a little bit. It looks brutal. Bestiality. <laughs> yeah, love, love that, too. that went from wow. one to ten real fast. Yeah. yeah, they're kind of bobbing up and down on that. Uh, Maybe fisting. they can pull the hair. Maybe they can have sex with the dog. Hardcore <laughs> fisting action. It's better oh. to be loose, both vaginal and anal, as possible. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and it just kind of goes on like that you know what let's switch it up a little bit but before we do i, I want to say I, I got some heat in the uh, chat apparently uh this is a a genre called eroge or erotic eroge. game eroge, eroge. Yeah. eroge. oh uh, good I'm, so... I'm so glad zarla that i'm not the only one here that knows that yeah. <laughs> I know many awful things. Uh -huh. So if, if you're if you're getting the vapors because uh, I didn't know what that was, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> so Zarla, uh, yes. you like cute fuzzy things, right? You like yeah. you know, little, yeah. little animals, little scampering yeah. uh, kitty cats and puppies running around. Well, uh, yes, yes. Uh, I got the I got the game for you uh, from uh -huh. the uh, Komochi forums. Uh, it's called Space Paws. Oh, it's cute. so. Yeah. That sounds like a you cartoon you might see on like Nick Jr. or something. Yeah. <laughs> but what what's this? Uh, I'm sure it will be about. Actually, wait, I take that back. I don't want that to be what this is about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I take that back be immediately. Very what you say. <laughs> yes. All right. Hi there. We're Typhoon Riders, and we're developing a game called Space Paws. It's a VN sim dating mix with furries and humans, where you wake up after a thousand years of cryogenization with your female couple, and you don't remember anything about you and your past. Our intention is to animate almost everything in the game. The final will include four or five planets, at least 30 animated and interactive H scenes, animated backgrounds, expressions. <laughs> uh, expressions. Oh, I guess uh, you're the same person, aren't you? Hmm. You're just you're uh, Typhoon now. Riders posted. Uh, thanks for the comments, guys. Uh, Lethar, for us at the beginning, furries were not our priority, but thinking about it, as developers, furry gives more variety than only human girls. Plus, <laughs> as you, we thought that there weren't enough good furry games, so we're trying to make a good one. <laughs> also, nice. furries are yeah. really stupid with their money, so we're gonna work that yeah. niche. <laughs> yeah. Uh, customer service. Asked and answered. Hey, uh, hey, Boots. Hey, Jimmy Franks. I, I understand that, uh, you've been working on something. Uh, you got a game that you're excited about. Oh uh, boy, do I! I'm, yeah. I'm just I'm you, excited. You like, the, you like uh, Harry Potter? You like Harry Potter? <laughs> I love Harry uh, Potter. You're into the supernatural. Um, uh, yeah, supernatural, yes. Tell me about uh, tell me about this dildo witch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's it about? This game has been released. Yeah, what? it's, it's out can, now. You can have it in your whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Down, down GameStop now. Dildo Witch in the Chamber of Secrets. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Control Dildo Pre-order your copy of Dildo Witch and get a free t-shirt. 
<laughs> Control Dildo Witch as she tries to stay afloat on top of her magical flying oversized dildo. Grab the floating balls to, distur- to restore her energy and watch out for threats. I just released okay. a, I just released a game, Dildo Witch, through itch.io, shameless advertising. But no, really, it's a pretty short game with simple gameplay and a few HCGs made they way I do them. With Daz third. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I picture, yeah, I'm picturing right. radius. Is that, is that what they're aiming for, do you think? I... <laughs> oh. Uh... <laughs> It's like a weird version of the ship. It, it, yeah, it, it it looks like a pornographic version of that Earth game that Frank West uh, <laughs> played a couple uh. years ago. <laughs> so. uh, well, I, those all sound like incredible ideas. Um, I want to tell you about a game I've been working on. Mm-hmm. It's called Lewd. L E W D. No, I know what you're thinking, but that's an acronym. All right. Oh, it's, boy. Uh, Legend of Eros, Worlds Defiled. Okay, <laughs> it's it's an erotic text Great. adventure game. Oh wow! In I thought space. you were joking. <laughs> it actually is an acronym. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, Lude is an erotic text adventure game currently in development. The goal of the game is to create a persistent living world that's constantly changing by your actions. Even when you log off from it, the world will continue to change, leading to new and unexpected experiences when you return. Yeah, you know, pretty cool MMORPG stuff. Uh, you play your own character, whether that's breeding aliens, spreading around nasty things, rising up the ranks of the Space Academy, buying up all the panties repeatedly, and then burning them so no one can afford panties, or just trying to fuck or not fuck every single thing. You make your own story. It's kind of worryingly specific. <laughs> I'm an anarcho cap. I'm an anarcho libertarian for panties. I just buy all the panties and I throw them out to the highway in front of a truck so all the panties get destroyed. It's a, a disturbing visual, stud. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so, so with enough support, there will be millions of worlds of content, uh, as well as an immeasurable amount of procedurally created content. The uh, the engine's already in place to make this happen. Uh, what I've mainly set out to do with it is make a new engine. It's far easier to make content for with a powerful and flexible development tool, and to make the game itself very accessible. Uh, you know, I've really, really, really thought this thing out, and there's a lot of bullshit that no one cares about. <laughs> I want to make a game, but I want you to make all the content for it, please. Thank yeah. you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we're back uh, to the, so, uh, the um, idea dash. Stog, <laughs> Stog, why don't you take Lethar? Uh, Lethar. Uh, yeah. Lethar gets Hi. into it with the developer here. Oh. Oh, the first one or the yeah? Uh, we'll we'll have the conversation. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, my name is Lethar, and I don't have the time at the moment to reel everything you've posted, but I star will later. <laughs> is that a threat? I want. <laughs> I will later. I wanted to post a thank you for joining us. The project has been this project has been on my radar for a number of months, and it sounds amazing. I've been cautiously excited about it ever since I first learned about it. The scope is huge, and most of the large-scale projects I've seen have not been finished, but I really want to see this one happen. Without much outwardly visible progress, I was trying not to get too excited. <laughs> so, so then uh, so the, the game's developer posts back and just kind of says, you know, yeah, it's hard to make a video game. I'm working on it, though. And then uh, Lethar replies again. Oh, fair enough. Perhaps finished was the poor choice of a word. How about fully realized, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of the one of the hard parts from what I've observed is getting slash finding good writers to hop on board. Fortunately, we got a few people who either write themselves or know places to do some looking, so perhaps your call for writers will be answered. Personally, I am not too worried about the lack of happenings over the holidays. Breaks are needed and things are still moving forward. I, I haven't heard anything on the project for a while, so I was worried it wasn't happening. As long as my worry is misplaced, any amount of progress is good news to me. 
Uh... So I'm getting the sense that none of these games exist. Like, the, the games <laughs> what what Dildo makes you real? say that? Yeah. Well, I thought Dildo Witch was real. But yeah, well, Dildo Witch. Don't stop Dildo believing. Dildo Witch is real. Uh, you know, copies that are going for upwards of thirty dollars on uh, if you get the GameCube uh, edition on eBay. Ah. <laughs> but all these other ones seem like bullshit. So, so <laughs> is this one of those places where? Because because in some of the other shows that we've done, right, where people pitch bullshit ideas, uh. other people are like, "Yeah, man, great idea," but so they're shitting on things that don't exist here, right? Mm. I mean, is that? It's a place where terrible video game, sex video game ideas go to die, basically, I think. Yeah. Well, you get to claim that you're working on it. I mean, like, guys, I'm totally making this game. It's going to be really good, okay? Dude, I just totally did a write-up for it. What, what more do you want? I, I'd post about it, but um, it's, it's got bugs. Uh, I'll, <laughs> you know, so many bugs. But I, it's real. It's definitely real. Definitely. And... There's nothing more real than this. Yeah. <laughs> so, boots. Um, oh, uh, sorry. Tell me about... S uh, skip me, for now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. Nutshell. Yes. Can you tell me about uh, Slave Bar? Oh, oh no! What you go, motherfucker? Oh no! Fuck! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Slave Bar, a three D breeding adventure hentai game. Hello, Nymphokun here. This summer I asked everyone to vote for the game genre they desire to be made. Now I'm presenting you the first public build of that game. Still more in a proof of concept state. This is why you don't ask people things. <sighs> story! The story evolves around a human slave in a world ruled by the noble race of elves. Our protagonist takes over a bar and transforms it into an H-bar, in which are served dishes made of bodily fluids, cum, oh. slime, and sweat. Oh my this is like my nightmare right here. Like, thank <laughs> you so much for that. These yeah, fluids I've, are I've now I have now transferred the Jimmy Franks curse onto you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm free! I'm free! <laughs> These fluids are collected through H-acts with the ingredient bearer. The coupling is usually based on the game found recipes for the <laughs> finished dishes. Uh... Taking care of the bar and subjugating deeper into lustier slaves. You'll need to hunt and tame more slaves, which usually requires a special approach described in their recipe. <laughs> Mm. Excuse me, waiter. I want. I. I would like some more sweat on this uh, roast beast flank. <laughs> uh, cool. So, uh, Hank. Uh, Hank. Hank Killick, uh, replies. Cool concept. I became a patron. Now for some feedback on the alpha version. And actually gives some pretty solid feedback. So there's nothing, nothing there. So that's cool. It's <laughs> nice and supportive. Oh, here we go. Um, it might help if you ask these dudes for advice on how to make the game. They're both making 3D games with a focus on monsters or monster girls. Who knows? Maybe you guys can exchange resources or code or whatever. Even a shout out to each other and patron posts can make help make all three grow. So, um. Boy, you know, picking stuff that's funny is hard, especially this document. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like either techno babble or gross shit, and there's no in between. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you you want knew to what you were getting when you read the title. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't Steam Triple X. <laughs> oh man. Um, we should point out actually hmm. this was uh, this was Stog's pick. Yeah, <laughs> was it? Yeah. Well then, Stog. Thanks, Stog. Yeah. Uh, tell me about uh, Fury Soldiers. That's Fury Soldiers, not Furry Soldiers. Oh no, Fury Soldiers! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Have I got a game to sell to you? Yay. Hello. 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 Yeah. I am eye teeth, and I create sexy and violent, very violent, be warned, 3D art and comics! It is not good to make a sexy oh. and violent comics. <laughs> no. Wow, you sound really awesome. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I've tried working on some games in the past, and one game I've spent some time on is called Fury Soldiers. You could download it here to play, open the RAR file, and open furrysoldiers.html. Here is some art to relay the kind of game it is. 
It sounds it's trustworthy. It's gross. Thank you. <laughs> the basic oh, idea uh, for the game. Oh, just real quick, I just want to point out that our donation total has reached two thousand six hundred sixty-nine dollars and sixty-nine cents, dudes. <laughs> Woo! Love that sex number. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, sorry. I, I should... yeah. All right. The basic idea for the game is that you have a sniper and a machine gunner, each with three kinds of attack, represented by wet, by red, white, and black chips. You have to use the limited supply of chips and ammunition to fight off enemies. As I said, <laughs> this game is pretty gory. <laughs> uh, this is an alpha version, so it is very rough. The game assets are all just circles with text everywhere, so it's really sloppy right now. <laughs> okay. Where, where's the well, sex okay, coming? So, so, so these are these are the <clears throat> these are the things that are in development, right? These are these are the ideas that are floating out there that are still. You know, uh, formless uh, shapes in the void, uh, but the uh, the actual Komochi client has games that are oh. available that you can play uh -oh. right now if you wanted to download this awful, awful thing. Um, <laughs> so let's find out about some of the games that have already shipped and are, are ready to go now. So Zarla, mm -hmm. uh, I just want I just want to apologize to you and everybody in advance for <laughs> this uh, this next section. Uh, but let's uh, start with always a good business deal. That sounds fun, like a nice, uh, you know, business simulator. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Always a good so, business deal. Okay. Always a good business deal is a game that's about a 19-year-old girl named Lily Candy. It's not a uh, <laughs> She's about to get fired uh, from her job as a real estate agent, but her boss has given her <laughs> one last 19-year-old real estate agent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just snuck in one day and they never got rid of her until now. <laughs> It's no, like, don't tell here. mom the babysitter's dead, only I've real estate. Here. Don't you remember? But her boss has given her one last chance to land a huge sale. Lily knows she needs this job to stay afloat, so she'll do anything to make her client satisfied, no matter what. Like, uh, bake cookies, I assume. Yeah, yes. yeah or, or <laughs> yeah. wash his car. Yeah, uh, take his dog on a walk. Know. Like, like for shit? Time, you know? Yeah, the gameplay consists yeah. of attempting to match your clicking speed to certain rhythms. Oh, it's like a dancing so, game. Yeah. So, Simulating actual intimate behavior by doing so, so dancing, uh, nail the rhythms, and you'll unlock new scenes and new animations. So, oh. so you can think you can dance. What about That's real estate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about real estate. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta nail this new real estate rap. <laughs> and uh, nutshell, uh, the next one, my very own lith. Which I'm assuming has something to do with screen printing or some kind of uh, trade, like uh, working in a print shop. Like it's like John Lithgow. <laughs> yeah, my very own John Lithgow. I'd play that game. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the, look, the last the last game was perfectly innocent. I'm sure this one's just fine. So please, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. They say they say Tamagotchi can never make a comeback, but I think I've got a little twist on the idea that'll work. <laughs> 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 Does it involve a vibrating egg? Because this thing. Uh, uh, okay, my very own list. Gal. Bef <laughs> Bef befriend, seduce, dominate, or get dominated by a shy little cat boy or girl. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You've might managed to combine the creepiness of bestiality and pedophilia. Do you feel good? That's good. Yay. My very own Lith is a simulation of Lith, a shy cat with certain... <laughs> a shy cat with certain needs, one of which is to have a friend. This how will you lovely. treat him? <laughs> and how far will you go together? Strange secrets await the determined player. MVOL is a work in progress and the story is not yet complete, but if you're new to the game, I think you'll find plenty of content to enjoy, i.e. creepy pictures to jerk off to. Sneak on a set with John Lithgow. Okay. That's yeah. That's I think we I think we got the we, we got a sense of but, uh, but, what but the, this about. version has a new big new ending of new oh. art and the much requested public support for a full female lift. Yay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's it's less uh bestiality. No, it's I think that just means or... that it's it's a, a girl you're doing bestiality with instead of a boy or maybe oh, like Oh I see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, terrific. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got one uh, here. I'm excited. It's it sounds like a puzzle game. It looks pretty mm -hmm. fun. It's called Trap Quest. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh man. Oh. 
Traps uh, are pretty, pretty standard trap. in adventure games. Yeah, trap yeah. music genres. The trap music genre is has a lot of role playing game potential. I can't wait to see what this <laughs> one's about. Yeah. <laughs> trap hop breakdown. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess. Uh, so Trap Quest, it's a 18 plus game, obviously, guys. I mean, come on. Uh -huh. uh, it's a mainly text-based roguelike. Mm -hmm. So you are thrown into a virtual world where everything is trying to force sex on you. Uh, mm. God, uh, focuses are on focuses are on transformation. Disapproving March Simpson noises. <laughs> Both physical and mental towards bimbofication. Mm -hmm. But there are lots of niche fetishes that can be enabled or disabled from water sports and diapers to egg laying. Basically a lot of shit here. stuff. <laughs> Nobody's done this before. So buy no. this version. Yeah. There are two different versions available with different character windows. One has modular drawn images. The other has a patchwork of real photos of naked people. <laughs> Yay! Porn Frankenstein! <laughs> I was thinking like a, like a ransom note. You know, like just the eyes like pasted in like... I want a oh, creepy. I want a lover that's really like a uh, a human ransom note. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like it, it, it's all pasted together, and it's like you'll never find all the bodies. <laughs> hey, hey, guys! Yeah. I, I, I I have a video game. It's oh, called. Is it, a, is it a fun take on the uh, classic uh, arcade game Space Invaders? I guess. <laughs> uh -huh. What's it called? It's called Virgin Invader. It's Aww. a hentai action fighting game. Mm. <laughs> that title's a little low concept for me. <laughs> the sun is up. <laughs> this is happening. It's judging you. <laughs> oh, if the sun's gonna come up, that means my skin is gonna melt right off my body. <laughs> Quick, tell us your porn game before you die. You are a powerless hentai demon who planned to invade and conquer Virgin Land. You know, you I have questions about the population of Virgin Land. <laughs> it's just, it's the worst theme park ever, believe me. <laughs> you can regain some of your lost dark power by having sex with a girl and gain more if she's still a virgin. However, it will not be easy to invade Virgin Land. The girls fight hard to protect their kingdom and their own virginity while your dark power is still limited. Now it's time to invade! Die in a fire! <laughs> I'm so already wait, are you, doing that! So are you playing as a space invader in that one and not the ship? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No. <laughs> I, I, I'm look, I, guys. I am hearing some great pitches for uh, some some like ready to market video games, uh, but I, I do want to I do want to I do want to circle back to Boots's uh, next entry in his uh, his uh, series uh, on the supernatural. Okay, uh, Boots, uh, tell me about Witch Trainer. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I'd like to, but something's happening with it. <laughs> oh, I did it. I, I want to hit Control Z a whole bunch of times. There it is. Control Z, whatever. <laughs> Sorry about that. Whatever you pass the letter. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice quick one. Yeah, it's a sequel to uh, Dildo Witch, I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How creepy can you get it? Under 10 seconds. Okay, well, uh, Witch Trainer. Hermione will do anything for the approval of her classmates. Done. Ew. Ten out of ten. Yeah. yeah, excellent, excellent gross. elevator pitch. <laughs> we'll just put a pin in that. We'll come back to that later. Um, this is my business card. Call I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'll tell you about uh, this. This that came across my desk. It's called The Last Sovereign. Uh huh. The Last Sovereign is an adult fantasy RPG that plunges you into the saga of a world torn between forces of lust and purity. As you enter the complex conflict, you forge a new path that will change the course of history. That doesn't sound Maybe. very complex. Maybe. <laughs> uh, the thing is, acting like most heroes get you killed, and most evil overlords' plans make no sense. The Last <laughs> Sovereign is a game that twists your expectations for adult games while fully embracing a reconstruction of some familiar old tropes to provide a lot of fun, sexy content. Yeah. We're going to do a thing. We're not going to tell you how, but we're going to do yeah. it. Yeah, I'm not even do sure it. how this works, but uh, it's, uh, it's putting them fun and sex and games and saying all those words in a sense. It's going to be smart. It sound awesome. It's going to be Porn game's going to be really good. Hey, mash them all together. Just going to mash them. Uh, hey, Jimmy Franks. Go. Hey, Jimmy Franks. 
Can you yeah. tell me about the current content of this game of the game you are talking about, please? <laughs> current content: ten plus hours of gameplay, forty plus hours of sex scenes. What? <laughs> wow! Is this like in, is this like in Wind Waker when you tell the ship to go somewhere, then you put the controller down and walk away? <laughs> like, well, I'll just wait for this to finish, and then I'll come back later. Yeah. It's like I think uh, I think Vortex uh, pieced out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's smart yeah. move. Smart move. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, by telling a story that has sex as an integral component, the Last Sovereign offers a deep storyline that naturally includes sex scenes. What? No need to grind for hours or lose to every enemy to find the content. <laughs> not only no, not a game. Adventure. Adventure in a world where sex is a weapon. You'll build a harem of fully realized characters with their own reasons for being with you. <laughs> In. Fully and realized. See now, see now you finally found something that's funny. They found <laughs> they have hopes time. and dreams and motivations of their own. And oh wait, no. <laughs> you all have a revolver at you for some reason. Yeah. You'll build a harem of fully realized characters with their own reasons for being with you in and out of the bedroom. Now that <laughs> is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't can't maintain my suspension of disbelief here. Yeah. Hey, uh, Stog, uh, there's, okay, Doom, right? Classic, classic yeah. PC game. Doom's, Doom's been around many Doom's iterations. A classic. Pretty mm -hmm. much any device that has buttons, you can play Doom on. Like calculators. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can play it on your TMs. I heard that you have a new take on Doom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a new take on Doom. You can also play this on ATMs. Just, you know, throwing that out there. <laughs> you can install it on your printer at work and, you know, just played on there too so oh boy. um oh boy <laughs> my my this is a uh, total conversion mod it's called a uh, h doom yeah it's so you can play doom in a world where violence is replaced with love find that's demon nice. girls and seduce them with pillows and a super soaker that's not so nice pillows <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I don't um, see how these no. ideas follow each other. I don't know. You just have to play it, I guess. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> it's written uh, the so... Super Soaker said you want to wear this pillow, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Like, I think the pillows are, like, thrown weapons. Are there... It's been so long since I've played Doom. Are there, like, things you can throw at? Maybe you're supposed to pillow fight with the demons? Yeah. Mm. I think they're, like, missile weapons or something. Hmm. <sighs> so, uh, so that uh, good news, good news, everybody. We are leaving the uh, Komochi forums. Yay! 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 Never, good never to return. Uh, we're gonna light a match. We're going somewhere better, us, aren't we? That bridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah we are going better. to somewhere totally Yay. better. Something totally Yay. different. You guys, you've heard of the gaming site Kotaku, right? Sure. Yes. Yeah. What if yeah. I told you that there was a game site for Eroge called Nutaku? Or to, not, looks like the dog nut. <laughs> I would make I would make the face that I'm making right now that none of you can see, but it is very disapproving. <laughs> so it's, it's like a new taku, right? I'm gonna uh, take that as a as a positive thing. And uh, uh nutshell, I want you to tell us about a game called Sweet State. Oh goody. All right. Sweet State. About Sweet State, time to inject some excitement, sex appeal, and humor into your gaming. Finally. It's time to say goodbye to shining gems, cutesy gardens, aging dragons, and tedious quests. Yay. Say hello to double D measurements, triple X ratings, bombshell actresses, and a healthy dose of adult humor. Welcome to Pornwood, your new home! <laughs> this Welcome pleasant to glamour town is a den of sin, where all your fantasies aren't merely possible, but also in the expert hands of the right girl, likely to be improved. Does this remind Features. anybody else of an FMV game? Yeah. Like the 90s? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the absolutely shittiest. what I'm picturing here. Yeah. The Heat shittiest features. FMV game. Build a sex Every empire. FMV game in the 90s. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So, did you say build a sex pin. vampire? Oh, a sex vampire? <laughs> That's a different, sex vampire is a different game. Oh, right. <laughs> build a sex empire. Become the greatest pimp porn one's ever seen by taking to the streets and bringing a world of hurt to other pimps. Claim their patch and their girls. Invest in real estate to ensure all those lonely sailors, handymen, and pizza delivery guys get plenty of bang for their buck. But be warned, uh, you're not the only pimp in town who wants to make it big. 
Uh, let's uh, let's jump down to I was young and needed the money. I was young and needed the money. <laughs> okay. Sorry. What? <laughs> Give this sentence a new meaning. Is you show off your oh my shit? <laughs> Is you show off your penile kung fu skills to cruise ships full oh, of man. meat hungry cougars? <laughs> it was a nine to five job when you can make a living by nailing a smile onto the lips of wealthy but unhappy housewives. I've got Oops. it. I know. I know what this sounds like. This reminds me of the video that they play when you're waiting in line on Space Mountain. <laughs> this, is, this, was a, this is a big plot point in the producers. Um, when, when I was uh, when I was nine years old, I'm, I'm going on a, a, this ridiculous aside here for no good reason. But, okay. uh, but when I was nine years old, I went to Disney World, and uh, and we got sort of stuck, uh, like the Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Uh, uh -huh. Like we we got stuck like like three feet from the end of the ride for uh -huh. like an hour. <laughs> and, uh, and we got to hear the voice that would tell you uh, how to get off of the ride. <laughs> and, and every once in a while, in my head, the exact recording of this woman saying, please step out on the left. And when the ride stops, step out on the left. Step out on the left, please. Please step out on the left. And it, like, it, I had an hour of that looping in my head, and it has been 31 years since then, and it is still going. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> and on days like this when you've had too little sleep and and too too much terrible things read with varying levels of enthusiasm <laughs> the voice gets louder yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, 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 uh, I've just cracked open my second uh, disgusting uh, energy drink this one is called Monster Ultra Blue oh no it's, nice. uh, it tastes like that Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, this game is inspired by classic tongue-in-cheek games such as Lula the Sexy Empire and Leisure Suit Larry. Oh, really? Uh -huh. It's oh, it's wow. a spiritual successor. Yeah. <laughs> Just... Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Zarla. Yes? I guess yep. we're... I think let's... I want to have you skip down to the end of the dock, down to... Um, <laughs> What looks like a like a, a game about astrophysics, maybe like co uh -huh. combining uh, astrophysics and like a tycoon type game. Uh -huh. uh, it's called Big Bang Empire. Tell me more about that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm sure I've heard about this one. You have to build an empire at the end of like a galaxy. Anyway, okay. Yeah. So about Big Bang Empire. In Big Bang Empire, you are on a mission to build an adult studio and become a triple X superstar. Begin by creating your online porn alter ego, then choose your skills and make your way from backstage fluffer to red carpet legend as you climb the slippery ladder to success. Oh. Join a studio, make contacts, <laughs> and produce increasingly challenging scenes as you train your performer to take everything the adult industry can throw at you. See key features, regular free updates and content editions, create and customize your own adult movie star, shoot your own adult movies and become the top performer in the world, build up your own erotic studio, and real-time events with thousands of players. <laughs> you know, when, I, when I first saw the title, I was actually thinking it was going to be some kind of erotic game based on the Big Bang Theory. Oh! <laughs> I'm oh, kind of relieved it didn't turn out to be that. Yes! <laughs> So I'm sure that game is probably that game only probably has eight people in it, and one of them is called Boner Man 2000. He's <laughs> inviting everybody on the server to go on a uh, a jack off quest with them. <laughs> that seems very generous. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> and then uh, Stog. Yes. Jump, jump back up to uh, what uh, which sounds like a, a, a like a fun teen romance or comedy. Uh, everlasting summer. I want to hear. I want to hear about that. Pitch me. Sell me on this. Like this is. I gotta go to market. I gotta push one of these ideas up to the higher ups at my game studio. Uh, so, like, I, I need something to take back to my bosses. So maybe this is it. Okay. Everlasting uh, summer. Go. Everlasting <laughs> summer. It's the the hit visual novel censored by Steam. I I think I saw this on Steam once upon a time. I guess they I guess they really? finally realized what it was and kicked it out. Um, <laughs> it so exists. the hit the hit visual novel censored by Steam has now arrived on by has now arrived on Nutaku. Finding yourself in a Soviet-era summer camp filled with gorgeous teens seemed like a wet dream come true until you couldn't wake up or leave. Now you're trapped in Camp Sovionok, 
with only a week to unravel the mystery of its attractive young inhabitants. The summer will be long, hot, and potentially your last. Ugh. So at least you die in the end of that one. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> like, in, like in most things in Russia, you die at the end. Yeah, that's true. That's accurate. Mm. Key features. A variable story that changes based on your decisions. Five girls to romance or ignore it all in the pursuit of the truth. Gasp. 13 unique endings, hundreds of unique locations, characters, and decisions, and it's Russian anime, essentially. <laughs> so, there's also a deadly mystery waiting to be solved. Do you want to go to this gray warehouse or this other gray warehouse? <laughs> Let's go to Chernobyl. Let's see what that's all about. <laughs> the glowing gray warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, my skin has fallen off. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I solved the mystery, everybody. I have radiation poisoning. I bet you're a ghost. <laughs> Spoilers. <clears throat> so, I think we have squeezed every last bit of enjoyment out of this document. Um, so, uh, what have we learned about... Uh, the Komochi and Utaku communities and their creative, creative minds. Do you, do you think uh, do you think many of these are really successful? Like some of the, like some of them are real games, right? Are most of them real games? I don't even know. Some of them exist, but yeah. I'm sure they there's people that buy them. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of think some it. of them are in this are watching this thing right now. Yeah. I like how all their no pitches judgment. are like. This is a sexy game which you have never seen before and nobody has ever done. Yeah. I'm you guessing better buy that, it quick. that these games would be like they would sell on Steam for 50 cents if they didn't have boobies in them. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. You can't compromise like... your artistic vision like that. <laughs> <laughs> boobies. Just like, like trash that was made in like Unity that you know, kind of works. Uh... I don't know. It just based on this, it seems like they've managed this. They they've managed to make sex suck, but not because <laughs> it's gross so much as because it's boring. Yeah, forty plus <laughs> CG stills of of grody anime sex surrounded by badly coded video game. Yeah. <laughs> press H, press H again. Um, yeah, the the, the heavenator in chat, uh, co provider of this document. Uh, states that some of them are making fifteen thousand dollars a month on Patreon. So, Great. Jesus Christ, <laughs> capitalism works. Fuck, <laughs> sure does. <laughs> Holy shit! I bet shit. you it's the furry games. I bet you it's the furry games. <sighs> Hell's bells. <laughs> well, uh, cool. Uh, I think that that kind of takes us up to break time. Yep. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so thanks for thanks for listening, everybody. We'll be back uh, in a few minutes with another quality doc, I hope <laughs> much better than this one. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, gonna... I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, we're gonna <laughs> no, Isfahan you're not. For the next one, you're right. I'm Isfahan not. Is joining um, us next and uh, and Amelia Blank is going to come back to give us some art again. Yay! Hey, All yay. right. All right. See you soon, see you guys, in a bit. <laughs>